Okay, today I'm going to be seeing if you mix water fast enough, you can get it to boil. So I got the idea for this video because one of the users named Pirate Caribbean, I think that's Captain Jack Sparrow. He said, I have a little fun experiment for you. If you have cold water and let's say a cup, if you shake or stir it a little, will it make the water colder or does it warm it up because of friction? So that's a valid question. What happens if you stir water really fast? You know what happens when you rub your hands together really fast, they get warm. So what about stirring water? Well, let's check it out. So let's see if we can boil water just by stirring it really fast. So first I'll try it by hand, stirring as fast as I can for as long as I can. And then we'll up the ante and use a blend tech to stir as fast as we can and see if we can boil the water. Okay, so I've got my jar of water here. It's at 24 degrees Celsius right now. Let's see what happens now if I stir it for five minutes. So I'm just gonna stir it for five minutes by hand and see if I can increase the temperature. <laughs> it's only been a minute and a half, I'm already tired. Okay, I'm calling it quits at three minutes. No temperature increase. So I was putting work into it, but not a lot of work. So now let's up our level of mixing even more, putting it in a blend tech. So blend techs are awesome. So their blade tips spin at around 310 miles per hour on the tips. They can put out around 1500 watts of mixing power. So let's pour our water into the blend tech. Okay, so I have boiling water here at my elevation, and you can see it boils at around 99.8 degrees Celsius. 99.7, 99.8 is around boiling point at my elevation. So if we can get to that temperature with the mixer, then we'll know it's boiling. Okay, so now basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn it on the full power and just let it blend as fast as it can. And let's see what it does to the temperature. So I have my uh, thermometer in there, my temperature probe. I hope it doesn't get sucked in there because <laughs> that'll be the end of my Blendtec and thermometer. So here we go. Water in a Blendtec, three, two, one. So it already raised two degrees, but I started losing my thing. Now the blades cannot hit my thermometer. So we're at 76 degrees now, start it up. Ooh. So, it's at 122 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degrees Celsius. Ooh, that is now warm water. You can see it steaming. So let's give it one more round and see how hot it gets. Okay, we're at around 112 degrees right now. Start it up. Holy cow, 158 degrees. So you can see that there's no heater in this. This is just a spinning blade. So the heat in this is just coming from actually the water rubbing together and the water rubbing against the side of the container. So there's friction that's turning into heat. 
Energy is never created or destroyed, so all of the work that we put into mixing the water eventually has to come out as heat. So the question is, can we mix it to get it hot enough to actually boil? Almost there, let's do one more. What just happened? <laughs> Thermometer got hit by the blade. <laughs> Here we go, we're at, we drop back down to 82 degrees C, but let's start it up again. Oh, that's hot. Okay, that was boiling, 99.8 degrees. So I'm just, a, you can see it bubbling and boiling in there. <laughs> so I'm just a little bit above sea level, so it boils at just less than 100 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Holy cow, that was getting hot. And here's our piping hot, boiling water. So even though this experiment may seem a little silly, it's actually a really important experiment that was done. So a man named James Joule did an experiment similar to this in 1850. That's right, Joule. If you're familiar with the energy units of joules, that's who it was named after. So what he did is he lifted a bunch of weights around a foot off the ground, and then he attached it to a paddle wheel in an enclosed container. And when the weights dropped, it turned the paddle wheel really fast, and he found that it heated up the water. And he actually calculated the relationship between lifting the weights up a foot off the ground and the rise in temperature of the water. And this played an important role in the development of the first law of thermodynamics or the conservation of energy. So remember that every time you mix up some water, you're raising the temperature just a little bit. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. And thanks to Captain Jack Sparrow, I mean Pirate Caribbean for giving me the idea to do this video. So if you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out. And feel free to leave me any comments or suggestions in the comments section and I'll try to get to them. And I'll see you next time.